Hello everybody, Minestorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the United States. In the last episode, we destroyed Chile. So that is now absorbed into the Empire. And we are now preparing for a war with Portugal. To basically establish ourselves footholds in Africa and Europe. That is going to be our plan. So that's what we're working on. I'm feeling I might need to train up some more troops and build some more ships. So we're going to work on that and uh, see how things go. All right, let's go ahead and unpause it. Let's get it moving. Um, yeah, we're missing medium tank production, but that's okay. And I am still going to be spending here to uh, to bolster our resource production, particularly chromium. Well, it's the only thing that's really left. Um, that we have here. I'm basically importing all of Turkey's chromium. I don't like how much I'm importing from Germany right now. Aerial minesweeping. All right. All right. So what I'm thinking of doing here is... Basically, setting things up to just continuously produce destroyers. And also, I need to design a new submarine so we can begin producing submarines. See, these guys are mine capable. I don't want to make any adjustments here. Yeah, we, we, we do want to make some adjustments here. We want to get better guns. Better depth charges. Better torpedo launchers. He's going to be kind of jack-of-all-trades destroyers. Alright, just location is done. I have to pause this here for a second. Alright, we got good radar on there already. Improve our torpedo launchers. We got our best engines. Uh, this is going to be, uh, uh, Sims class? Guess we'll go with that. Alright. So, I'm basically going to queue up, like, two of these, two lines of this. To produce on an infinite basis. And just dump them in um, Virginia. Okay, I would like to get... Well, no. Um, I think that's good for now because we're going to build basically... Lots of patrol groups using those. Do I need anything more here? This is this is carrier group three. Where are these um, battleships going? They're going to carrier group three. Okay, good. Carrier group two has battleships. Cruisers. They're actually pretty good. So I don't think we need to make that any larger. I mean this this carrier group here is is quite a bit excessive. 
um, in terms of its size. Lots of cruisers, but these are like old, old cruisers. I expect them to get sunk um, at some point. Alright, the other thing I need to do here is we need to design a submarine. And I'm going to start cranking out submarines too. Alright, so we're going to go for a new submarine design. We're going to call this Dolphin Class. And let's see, we're going to go for torpedo tubes. Do I want to give the a snorkel? Torpedo tubes, engines, torpedo tubes, and sub visibility minus twenty percent, or. find it odd to give a submarine radar, but light attack, heavy attack, anti-air, service detection 18. I guess we'll give it radar? And I'm gonna start making those. Lots of them. And we're going to send the submarines to Pennsylvania, I guess. Alright. That'll do. Uh, we're short some steel. Oh, well. Let's reduce the Philippines to an integrated puppet. And I can't really worry about the uh, the steel right now. All right, let's go ahead and declare war, conquer, call allies, because we're gonna need to do that because we don't have any of our own territory bordering those. All right, so we've set these this theater up. Go 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 go. All right, that should be. Everybody? And I'm gonna have y'all on... Aggressive. Portugal joined allies, it doesn't matter. Finish off the naval doctrines. Yeah, if anybody else gets involved in this, uh, this war... Then I'll just feed them to somebody else. Good. Alright. Yep. Portuguese have been overrun.
Alright. And I'm gonna take all states. We can't take all states. There we go. Take all states. End turn. Done. Okay, yeah, we, we basically really need to switch over. Alright, free military factories. Let's crank out some TAC bombers. Some strate uh, strategic bombers. Some transport planes. And just more jets. More jet fighters. That is impacting our aluminum, our steel, rubber, everything. All right. No big deal. Let's just get the aluminum developed. I really want to avoid... Avoid as much of this as I can. We'll import it for now because I don't really have a ton of choice. I really need to integrate American Malaya. So that'll solve all of my rubber problems. Or all of our, you know, all of the rubber problems. Steel. Aluminum. Why, why are you not sending us aluminum? Get, a, get us some aluminum. Okay. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. Orders. Bring our guys over here. Command. Tanks. What might I be able to potentially build over here? Can I build synthetic stuff? Nope. We, uh, we can't build anything there. Yeah, basically can't build anything. I think it's because um, everything's damaged, so we're going to have to repair all that infrastructure. No problem. Alright, motorized infantry. Let's go ahead and set you guys up. That's ever so slightly annoying. Alright, well you guys go there, and then you guys... Sit up uh, along there, I guess. All in. 
Okay. Let's see. Foot. Two armored. Two mobile. Okay. Let's see. You guys are foot. You guys are foot. You guys are foot. I guess what we're going to need to do yes, is just go ahead and swap everybody over to modern modern tanks because Attention. I think we probably just need to do that. Improve rocket engines. Alright. Yes, sir. Listen up. And then what I think I might want to do is convert Attention. Convert some of you guys to mechanized infantry yes, over here. So, we have all the half tracks we need. It's just the modern, the modern, um, ground vehicles that, uh, they're having trouble with. Six hundred days. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start training some regular infantry. Or do I want to? I don't have enough. I don't have enough experience here to edit this. All right, so we'll just go regular infantry, train it. So we'll start working on another army group here. I'd be careful about how much manpower I'm using. Need to change um, conscription law. I can build over here that uh, nope they have radars they're maxed out on airfields I mean I could build some infrastructure I guess coastal forts hmm. Yeah, they've already got everything built.
Yeah, we're going to need more in Africa. I'm not sure that those three armies are going to be enough to hold Portugal. What is... the supply situation? There's plenty of supply there. Um... I should probably expand... Expand the naval bases. And the infrastructure. There. Alright, aerial minesweeping is done. I guess we go to oil processing. It's done. Yeah, kind of running out of things to do here. I guess we'll work on the oil processing because there really isn't any other options. And then at some point we're just going to end up researching things just to research things. So it looks like these guys are mostly done. Uh, still need some more self-propelled artillery. Alright, naval doctrines are done. I guess we can get the T-27 xylophone. Motorized rocket artillery. Not sure we're going to use it, but uh, we'll have it there as an option. I guess. So, we still have these guys improving resource production. Um, I do want to change my conscription. I think we're going to go ahead and switch to extensive conscription before we do anything else. Alright, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to train up a whole motorized army. It's going to bring us down to 500,000 available manpower. So there's not much else I can really do. We'll deploy them in New Orleans. They're short, modern, self-propelled toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so far behind on that. Um, can I help rectify that? Yeah, let's... let's Transfer Just transfer some factories from fighters. 
the SPGs. See, 40,000 of these in stock. 256,000. But that number will drop surprisingly quickly when we're getting to like an actual shooting war here. Um, 171,000. Guess we'll move we'll move those. Guess I'll get the dusters. M42 dusters. Alright, let's change the conscription law. Extensive conscription. I guess we can research the T95. Oh, no, no, no. You guys are gonna need to do is who's Axis here? Venezuela is Axis. Okay, so Ready, sir. well, actually. Bring all these guys over here. Listen up. Ready, sir. Okay. Hopefully, there'll be supply there for them. Which looks like there should be. October 53. December 53. So they're going to be ready. All right. That's done. Just keep on working on stuff. All right.
Where are we having bases in low supply? Okay, um, what's the issue? Previous bottleneck infrastructure, Windward Islands. And you are max infrastructure, right? Yep, you are. Yeah, because really these guys should be spread out. Alright, well, what I'm going to have to do then is probably take these two armies, delete their orders temporarily, and move them somewhere nearby. Where they can just kind of park for the time being. Just so we're not taking unnecessary amounts of attrition. Alright. Now as far as our garrison forces, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do about those. We may need to train up a whole bunch because we need to turn them into like coastal defense forces. So... We'll see what we're going to do with that. But we're at the end of the episode right now. So we'll continue work on our preparations for a potential war with the Axis when we come back next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.